What's up guys, Shiver here. Today I'm bringing you my first After Effects tutorial. It's on the wave warp effect. This is what it's going to look like. So that you see right there, there's a flash, some blurs, and that's the screen sort of starts to do the wave. So, I already have a RAM preview here. This is what it looks like on a Black Ops 2 clip. So when he shoots, there's a flash. You can see it blurs a bit. And it starts to warp like that. And the effects used are called Wave Warp, Curves, and Directional Blur. They all come with After Effects CS6 already, so you're not going to have to download or install anything. So, first of all, you're going to want to look up Wave Warp. Right here, it's under distort. So just drag it onto your clip or an adjustment layer, whatever you prefer. So you're going to have the wave type, keep it as whatever that says, sign or whatever. Have the wave height to about 30, 35, maybe I use 35. Have the wave width to either 200 or 300. I use, I use 300 in the edit, but I'm going to use 200 this time because I think it looks better and set the wave speed to about 1.5 and then go to wherever your go to wherever the shot is where you see the muzzle flash I already have a marker set it's right here so turn on the wave warp you're going to want to keyframe the wave the wave width right at the shot go frame before set the wave width to 0 oh no no never mind you're not going to want to keyframe the width. You're going to want to keyframe the height, actually. Keyframe the, f the height at 35 right there. Go a frame earlier. Put it to zero. Go forward about a second. And set it to zero again. And set the anti-aliasing to high. And then you're going to want to easy ease the keyframes so they're a bit smoother. So just left click, go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. And so there's the there's the warping effect. Now we're gonna want to add the flash and the blur. So look up curves under color correction. Drag that onto the adjustment layer, put it above wave warp. Go to the frame before the shot, keyframe the curves, go forward, grab the little picker thing here and go up to the middle line at the top, there, drag it there, then go forward about a second again to where the other keyframe ends, and hit reset at the top. That doesn't delete your keyframes, it just resets the settings inside the effect. So now you have the blur done too, or the flash done. So now to add the blur, we're going to want to look up directional blur, right here under blur and sharpen, put that above the curves, and then change the direction to 90, keyframe the blur length at 0, go to the shot, change that to 15, and then go forward a second and keyframe that to zero and then you're going to want to easy ease those two the way I make all the keyframes pop up just hit U on your keyboard and it should just show you the keyframes select them again go to keyframe assistant easy ease makes them all smooth again so I'm going to RAM preview what it looks like right here So that is the effect there. It's pretty easy to do. Looks really nice. Looks even better with a good CC. I didn't use CC just to keep it quick, but that's what the effect looks like. It's really nice. So if you enjoyed the tutorial, please leave a like and a comment. And watch out for more After Effects tutorials.
Thanks for watching.